This training video will guide you through the steps to successfully conduct a test using Neogen's Reveal Q Plus for Aflatoxin. The Reveal Q Plus for Aflatoxin system includes test strips, Reveal sample cups, sample dilution tubes, and sample diluent. To conduct the test, you will also need 65% ethanol solution, sample collection cups with lids, an agri-grind grinder, a scale capable of weighing 5 to 50 grams, a timer, a Reveal sample cup rack, the Reveal AccuScan 3 or AccuScan Pro reader, dispensing pump or graduated cylinder, filter syringes or Wattman number no. 1 filter papers, sample dilution tubes with caps, 100 microliter and 500 microliter pipetters and pipette tips. Remember to store test strips in the stay dry tube at room temperature before use and store at room temperature when not in use. Do not freeze the test strips. Ethanol is highly flammable and toxic when swallowed. Users should avoid contact with skin. Treat all used liquids and labware as if contaminated with aflatoxin. Wear gloves and other protective apparel during testing. Also, avoid cross-contamination by using clean glassware for each sample. Obtain a representative sample and grind the sample so at least 75% of the ground material passes through a 20 mesh sieve. The particle size should be about the same as instant coffee. To prepare the sample, begin by gathering all of the materials required for the test. If you are not using Neogen's prepared ethanol solution, prepare a 65% ethanol solution by mixing 6.5 parts ACS grade ethanol with 3.5 parts distilled or deionized water. The volume of ethanol solution needed will vary by the number of samples you intend to run. The sample is extracted with a ratio of one part sample to five parts 65% ethanol. In this example, we will use 10 grams of ground corn with 50 milliliters of 65% ethanol. Vigorously shake or vortex the mixture for three minutes or blend for one minute. Allow the sample to settle or filter with a filter syringe or paper. Place sample dilution tubes and reveal sample cups for each sample being tested in a sample cup rack. For each sample, add 500 microliters of sample diluent into a sample dilution tube and add 100 microliters of the sample extract. Mix by vortexing or swirling. Transfer 100 microliters diluted extract to a Reveal sample cup using a new pipette tip for each sample. Place a Reveal Q Plus for Aflatoxin test strip into each sample cup with the sample end down. Allow the strip to develop in the sample cup for 6 minutes. After 6 minutes, remove the strip and read results with the Reveal AccuScan 3 reader. Be sure to read the test strips within 1 minute of completion of the incubation. The AccuScan 3 or AccuScan Pro reader will report the results and save the data to be analyzed later. Remember that readings conducted after seven minutes may be inaccurate due to overdevelopment of the device and the strips must be read using the Reveal AccuScan 3 or AccuScan Pro reader. In order to produce a quantitative result, a curve must be entered into your AccuScan reader. 
If you are using an AccuScan 3 reader, you will need to enter the lot number, A, B, C, and D values, which can all be found either on the Q-Plus kit box label or the C of A. In the case of the AccuScan Pro, you will simply enter the QR code, which is provided inside your Q-Plus kit. Alternatively, you can find the 39-digit code that makes up this QR code on the C of A. This code can be entered manually in place of reading the QR code. If you have any questions regarding the use of these AccuScan readers, please contact Neogen. Manuals are available for both the AccuScan 3 and Pro readers. Neogen now has a full line of Reveal Q Plus test kits, including Aflatoxin, Aflatoxin Green, Don, Zorelinone, Fumonisin, Ocratoxin, and T2HT2. Kit inserts and step-by-step -step picture procedure brochures are available for all Reveal Q Plus kits. Please contact Neogen for more details on our full line of Q Plus test kits. For customer assistance and technical services, contact us 24 hours a day at 800-234-5333. Thank you.